For years, scientists thought they had a decent grasp of how the universe's first stars and galaxies came to be, slowly, gradually, over hundreds of millions of years after the Big Bang. The early cosmos was imagined as a dark, quiet place, with the first faint stars flickering into existence before galaxies slowly took shape. But now, the James Webb Space Telescope has completely overturned that picture. Its latest observations push deeper into cosmic history than ever before, and what it has found is nothing short of astonishing. These aren't small tweaks to our timeline. These are discoveries so extreme they could force us to rewrite the very physics of the early universe. Webb has spotted objects so far away, so luminous, and so massive that they shouldn't exist according to our current models. Are these the blazing birthplaces of primordial galaxies? Or could they be something far stranger? Perhaps colossal black holes formed almost instantly after the Big Bang? Before Webb, our best understanding of the cosmic dawn came from the Hubble Space Telescope and computer simulations. They painted a picture of the first 400 to 600 million years after the Big Bang as a slow awakening, faint starlight struggling to break through the dense gas that filled space. But Webb's infrared vision has been dismantling that idea since day one, revealing a young universe that was chaotic, bright, and full of activity. In its first year alone, Webb detected galaxies at redshifts of 14, meaning the light left them when the universe was just 280 to 300 million years old. That was already a surprise. But its most recent data takes this even further. Using ultra-deep surveys, astronomers have now found nine new candidates, six at redshift 17, just 200 million years after the Big Bang, and three at redshift 25, a jaw-dropping 100 million years after the universe began. What's shocking is not just their age but their brightness. These aren't faint smudges barely visible in the data. Some are incredibly compact, just 180 light years across, while others stretch up to 700 light years. They appear to contain around 10 million solar masses in stars or other matter, yet their ultraviolet output is far higher than expected. Even stranger, some are nearly point-like, hinting at dense, luminous cores that shouldn't have formed so quickly. If these are galaxies, they could be made of the universe's very first generation of stars, population 3 stars, composed purely of hydrogen and helium. These stars would have been far more massive and luminous than anything alive today, explaining the brightness. The problem? There hasn't been enough time in the early universe for so many massive galaxies to form naturally. That's why some scientists are leaning toward a bolder theory. These may not be galaxies at all, but primordial black holes. Unlike black holes formed from dying stars, these could have formed directly from collapsing regions of matter just seconds after the Big Bang. If they quickly began devouring surrounding gas, they could shine brilliantly in ultraviolet light, imitating the look of young galaxies. This idea would mean that black holes didn't just form later in the universe, they were there from the very start, helping shape the first cosmic structures. If proven true, this would solve several mysteries, including how supermassive black holes appeared so early in the universe's history. It could also change how we understand dark matter, since these early black holes may have acted as gravitational seeds that pulled in matter and sped up galaxy formation. But there's a catch, these findings are still candidates. To confirm them, astronomers need spectroscopic data to identify the elements they contain. If these objects are composed only of hydrogen and helium, it would strengthen the black hole case. If heavier elements like carbon or oxygen are present, they're more likely to be early galaxies made of stars. Verifying a redshift of 25 is one of the toughest challenges in astronomy. Webb's NIR spec instrument can do it, but it requires extremely long exposure times and meticulous filtering to avoid being fooled by nearer, cosmic imposters, that can mimic the appearance of ancient light. Only when those measurements are made will we know for sure whether we're looking at the first galaxies, or the first black holes in the universe. And if it's the latter, the story of the universe's beginning might have to be rewritten and until those measurements are taken, these objects remain alluring mysteries, possible record breakers written in the universe's ancient ledger but still unconfirmed. If they turn out to be galaxies made mostly of population 3 stars, the discovery would be one of the most transformative in modern astrophysics. 
These stars have existed only as predictions in cosmological theory, a kind of phantom chapter in the universe's origin story. They are believed to have been hundreds of times more massive than our Sun, burning hotter than 50,000 degrees Celsius and living only a few million years before exploding in titanic supernovae. In doing so, they would have bathed the young cosmos in intense ultraviolet light, stripping electrons from surrounding hydrogen gas and setting the stage for the next generations of stars and galaxies. Detecting them now would not simply fill in a blank in our timeline. It would completely redefine the opening act of cosmic history. It would show that the first galaxies were not faint sparks struggling against the darkness, but brilliant, short-lived furnaces that reshaped the universe almost instantly. Such a revelation could also explain why the process of cosmic reionization happened far faster than earlier Hubble observations suggested. But there is another possibility, more exotic, and in some ways far more unsettling. These luminous specks could be primordial black holes, massive objects born directly from the collapse of dense regions of matter in the first seconds after the Big Bang. Their existence would elegantly explain one of astronomy's longest standing puzzles the presence of supermassive black holes less than 700 million years after the universe began. Under the standard model, black holes that start as stellar remnants simply shouldn't have had time to grow so large so quickly. Primordial black holes avoid that problem entirely, beginning their existence already enormous and capable of swallowing matter at extraordinary rates. If such objects are real and common, their implications extend beyond black hole formation. They could also play a major role in solving the riddle of dark matter. Some cosmologists argue that primordial black holes might make up a fraction, or even the majority, of the universe's unseen mass. Finding them would not just alter our understanding of the early cosmos, it could force us to reconsider what most of the universe is actually made of. Pushing the James Webb Space Telescope to study objects at these distances is a test of engineering as much as science. Every mirror segment, detector, and cryogenic system must work perfectly to collect photons that have been stretched and dimmed over more than 13 billion years. The challenge is a delicate balancing act between genuine detection and the ever-present threat of noise, where even a tiny calibration slip could erase the faintest signals. Yet Webb continues to perform, delivering data so rich that researchers increasingly rely on AI-assisted analysis to detect subtle patterns buried in the noise. The deeper Webb peers, the clearer it becomes that our picture of the universe's past may be deeply flawed. Each new breakthrough challenges assumptions that once seemed unshakable. This telescope was designed to be a time machine, to witness the birth of the first stars and galaxies, but it is becoming something more. Instead of just showing us history, it is forcing us to rewrite it. If these are galaxies made of population three stars, then the early universe blazed to life far faster and more violently than we thought. If they are primordial black holes, then the most extreme objects in the cosmos were seeded in the moment of creation itself, altering the way we understand matter, light, and gravity from the very beginning. Either conclusion demands a rethinking of physics as we know it. And this is still only the beginning. With every new limit web shatters, the universe reveals another layer of complexity, refusing to fit neatly into the models we've built. We are entering an era where the rules of astronomy may be bent, broken, or replaced entirely, and the next discovery could once again rewrite our cosmic story. The question now is not whether the universe has surprises left for us, but whether we are ready to accept how radically different it might be from the one we thought we understood.